Good job. Well done. Fucking fight for the death. Lose it. So you've got to pick your battles. So both better outside and here. You're assuming that you're the better guy and you're going to catch it. The last one is this, right? We go from here, got his foot, I use my left foot to create this space and I, short legged motherfucker, bring that one in there. So I've got both feet over this side, right? Locked inside. So that's my three options neutral, outside, inside. All that foot lock on. So let's start there. Grab your partner. One side sitting down, he put the front. Okay. So let's let's grab the foot up. So because I've started here, it's just easiest to do straight foot up. So eventually we'll get back to where we were before, which is back stepping straight into the honey of thing. Just feel a little upright rose and but nice and simple neutral ashy strap. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the slack out of his leg. Right? Hip, knee, ankle, foot. If I take the slack out of the hip, then the knee's still going to move. If I take the slack out of the knee, then the hip and the foot will be able to move. You know, it's like when we're, this is a, it's a really awkward thing because it's not something that would normally happen. When you roll an ankle, when you're walking along, you tend to just go roll it over the edge and we tear the outside. What we're doing is completely different. We're stretching it all the way out, hyperextending his foot and snapping everything through the front. No rotation, no pressure, it's not tearing the knee like the heel hook. It's just stretching that out and popping everything through here. Right? So it's unnatural, which is why it takes a little bit. So here's what I do. I do a bunch of things. So from my single basic Action. I'm going to lift and we're going to come this <laughs> First thing I'm going to do, right, is I'm going to stretch. So I've got this locked, right? I own this, this is great. My knees are pinching, there's pressure on, but it's not awesome. So I want to make sure that I bend his knee first. So to make it easier, I put it in here and I side kick that down to the mat. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to do one thing. He'll want to tap, and so I'll release it, right? So I go here, I side kick that to stretch that knee to the hand cover, and so I release that. So that's number one. I stretch that to bend this knee down, here. Number two, I lift, my hand comes through into here, so that I can zip this foot, uh, this hand right up. Because if I'm stuck here, it's really hard because of the friction against my body, against his leg, and all that sort of shit to get my hand any higher. But I need as far back as I can. So my drop down my side, left hand comes through, make some space, let it go. Then, grab my fingers like a guillotine. And then I lift those to my chest. So stretch that one away, lift these to my chest. It's only two things, right? Then, from there, lift to the chest, shoulder back. Lift to the chest, shoulder back, elbow down. So stretch, zip, lift, shoulder, elbow. And at any one of those things, he's going to tap. That's his problem. Okay, so grab your partner, and let me talk you through those nice and slowly carefully. There's, there's a couple more, so the issue from that is he, he rolls out, and we kind of got to follow him and face first, and then onto the other side, and then we upgrade to hole and heel hooks on the other side. <coughs> but it's important to you, the idea being, so John explained in the seminar so far the world, when I first learned this, even he taught us this, you step that one and you go there and then you pull back in your foot lock. And the idea was, that didn't actually give me a better position. It was a 50-50 thing. As soon as I looked at it and fell back, if he just sat straight up and got me or I hadn't done something proper, then I hadn't gained a better position. In fact, I'd lost position and given him the upper hand. Whereas when we're single leg seeing and ashy from underneath, what we've been doing all this last couple of weeks, I'm already in a shit place. I'm flat on my back. All I've got is one foot. And I'm going to foot lock him from there? Fuck hell. He can mount me. No, he can't, because we know now that if he drops that leg, I just hang on to that and I single exit, which is ashy, and then I can stretch him away and do all that work from there. 
So it's way better for me to be in a really shit position and build up to a footlock than be in a great position and see the passing is going to go, oh, good foot, I'll try and footlock it. So it ties in really well with what we've done and it's a much better way to go through from Good job, well done. Fucking fight to the death. Six feet, and I should ignore him and do all six, okay? But if he's your friend, you'll have to do one and then not do it because he'll tap. And then you do number two and then not do it because he'll tap. But in real life, you just ignore it, you do all six. Got it? Okay, cool. Number one, I'm gonna straighten my right leg out. See my right leg on top? Like a sidekick. You see that's putting pressure on the inside of his knee? So the first thing you're gonna do is straighten like that and he may or may not tap. Okay, all I'm doing for the first five parts is taking the slack out of the system. But some people, when you're busy taking the slack out of the system, they're passing out, or their arms breaking, or their legs hurting. So one is psychic. Okay, then I'll back it off. Two, I'm going to lay down. My left hand. See, see my right hand. See it's up high near his ankle. It, I can't. I'm telling you right now, I cannot get my hand any higher. That's just near to the end of the lever that I can get my wrist. Okay. Now watch. My left hand come under my leg, on my thigh. See, under my leg, on my thigh, to make space to do this. Watch my right hand. Look, do you see how much extra? If I try to get it up here, there's so much friction and connection, but if I make space, look at that. That's a lot. So zip it to the wrist hits the our heel. Now our left hand, we're gonna come up and get a guillotine grip and pull it through a little bit like that, okay? So I can see my hands. Now I just do the first part, or the second part. First part was to straighten my leg. Second part, my thumbs to my chin. I'm just taking the slack out, okay? Thumbs to my chin. Next part, shoulder back. Next part, elbow in. Next part, lift my hip. So you ignore them and do all of it. That's a basic foot lock. <laughs> okay. So, what's the first thing we're going to do? I'm here. Roll onto your back. Yeah, and improve my position to where? Feet inside. It's called feet inside. Okay. And now, what am I going to do? Side kick, then back it off because he's your friend. On your back. Now, what do I do? Make space and to the end. Make space and to the end of the lever. Zip it up. And now, get the grip. See that? And now what? Thumbs to my chin, and then what? Shoulder back, and then what? Elbow in, and then what? Lift my head. That's called basic footlock. Now, 